Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Namaste. Namaskar. Peace and grace. Medifo. Compassion. Goodness. Love. Mercy. Om. Loving awareness. Loving awareness. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you for being here and being present. <clears throat> what a beautiful day. A beautiful day to be alive, to be well, to recognize this purest presence that's within us. And so um, I'm just thankful to have you here with me. Thankful to be here with you. If you would just let me know. <clears throat> this is the first time back in the studio um, since the, this whole COVID thing for me. So let me know if the video is not coming through clear or if the audio is not coming through clear so we can make any fixes that we need to make so we're not interrupted as we start to move toward this uh, space of grace and where we allow pure presence, the Supreme, to guide us and direct us. So <clears throat> I'm glad to be getting stronger every day. Thank you all for your prayers and your positive vibes and, and healing frequencies that you've sent my way. It's definitely appreciated and definitely been felt. My body is mending. My lungs, lung capacity is expanding every single day. Uh, less and less of the pneumonia. Um, <clears throat> and so it's just wonderful to be alive. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful for this uh, continued journey for me. Apparently, apparently, I'm supposed to be here a little longer. So, <laughs> so I am, and you have to put up with me. Um, <clears throat> as always, <clears throat> we bring our attention and our focus to really the essence of what matters the most. It's the basis and foundation of what we really are. Um, and as I mentioned to you, uh, even when I was in the hospital, there, there was this sense because I believe completely because of this practice of mindful awareness, loving awareness, this, this understanding that this is just a vehicle. It's not, not just a vehicle as if I'm diminishing the value of it. <clears throat> this spacesuit's really important. But this spacesuit is only temporary, right? So anything that's happening to it is temporary as well. Because this whole encasement or, or um, envelope, right, if I can call it that, is temporary. And the letter is really the essence of who you are. And so <clears throat> when we practice this mindful awareness and lo loving awareness, I like to call it loving awareness we practice this it's always there and it's the go-to because it's the recognition of the eternal and this is why I say that the practice of non-attachment that I'm not even attached to this body I'm not attached to the labels I'm not attached to the descriptions uh, it's non-attachment and so you float through life with less weight on you um, and this is the beauty of this. This is the beauty of this practice. And so today, yet again, <clears throat> I invite us into the just simple focus, the focus on this truest essence, the pure presence. We've called it, and we call it within our community, the Christ presence. <clears throat> More important than the Jesus of history is the Christ of mystery that dwelled within Jesus in the fullness and dwells within you too. So for us, it's not a religious thing. It's just an awareness of that eternal beingness that I am, that I am, the Tao, the, the Atman, or could be called the soul, but it's that soul essence <clears throat> that you are and that I am. So once again today, we simply remind ourselves 
to return to center, to that balanced state, to work from the inside out, rather than the concern so much with the externals, that our awareness and our minds are on the eternal, that essence and presence that we all are. And it's the power, force, and source from which all of creation arrives. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So let's see who all is here this morning. <coughs> and you'll excuse my occasional cough. There's still a little bit, you know, going on there, but it is what it is. And I'm just thankful to be able to breathe deep. I woke up this morning. First words out of my mouth every morning are thank you. But I woke up this morning and said, thank you. I wasn't able to do that this time last week. And I took in a deep breath. And I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. All right. Let's see who else is here. Good morning, Lisa. Karen, good morning. Lisa, good morning. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Lisa, twice there. Donna, good morning. Rachel, good morning. Barbara and Jim, good morning. Rashida, good morning. Debbie, good morning. Karen Nashville, <laughs> good morning. Linda, good morning to you. Elle, good morning. Carolyn, good morning. Anne Marie, good morning. Samil, good morning. Maddie, good morning, good morning, good morning. Ah, so today, again, we return to the Tao presence, which is just means the way. I've mentioned to you before that Tao is how creation is the process. Simply, it's the pure presence that it, we, it's in, we're inseparable from. Nothing you can do or not do can keep you from that presence. The idea that religion planted in the minds of humanity that told you you were separate and then you needed to do these steps to get to it um, was not true. But the truth is, is that you are an eternal being connected irrevocably and eternally to that consciousness, that presence. And you are a part of that presence. And nothing you can do, again, nothing you commit or omit, makes you any less connected. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? It's the message of hope. It's the message of freedom. So the invitation is, is to let go of all of the guilt factor, all of the ideas of separation, reconditioning the mind to know you're connected. When you're aware of the connection, it makes it more apparent to you. <clears throat> and it gives you the ability to operate from it. And so that's why we're here, really, to connect with that deep, deep, deep part. Finding that deep well of eternal essence and presence. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. The supreme good is like water, which nourishes all things without trying to. It is content with the low places that people disdain. Thus, it is like the Tao or the way. In dwelling, live close to the ground. Listen now, listen. In dwelling, live close to the ground. In thinking, keep to the simple. In conflict, be fair and generous. In governing, don't try to control. In work, do what you enjoy. In family life, be completely present. Hmm. That's something that's important with all of these devices that we have. In family life, be completely present. When you are content to be simply yourself 
and don't compare or compete, all of a sudden everybody and everything will respect you. Let go of the comparisons. Let go of the competitions. Hmm. Those are all illusions. They keep us trapped in this need to be something, to be somebody. I've mentioned to you before that my journey here, my journey here is to become nobody. I was raised all of my life to be somebody. And my journey now and my desire is to become nobody. So let's think in those terms as we move today into this time of meditation, clearing, emptying ourselves, letting go of the need to control anything and anyone. In dwelling, live close to the ground. In thinking, keep it simple. In conflict, be fair and be generous. In governing, don't try to control. If you're a supervisor, a manager, a boss, CEO of a business, try this. Do what you can to lead with inclusion, generosity, and watch the production of your organization rise. It's not even our duty to control ourselves. The more you try, the less control you have because you're wild. The work is to self-manage, not self-control, and manage through love, compassion, and generosity. Be like the water. Be like the water. Okay, enough preaching for today. Let's get into this time together. Loving awareness, loving awareness. And I am going to use the Tibetan singing bowl today to call us into this time of simply being. We'll begin with a series of deep breaths. And yes, I'm going to breathe deep with you. A series of three breaths in through the nose about three to four seconds. Hold for about three to four seconds. And then simply let it go. We'll begin at the sound of the singing bowl. Begin. attention to the breathing, our, our breath, this life force that's always happening, 
It's simply happening all the time. It's being done for us. So I say to my lungs, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I take this moment to say thank you also to my heart, constantly beating without my direction. And I say thank you, thank you, thank you. As I sit in this quiet space, it's quite noticeable that there are many thoughts that arrive and dance around like monkeys. <laughs> we, we might even consider some of those thoughts like flies or gnats. Seek to garner our attention. But I find myself able in this moment to simply observe them. I can choose to not engage them or log into these thoughts. Because I recognize that I am not my thoughts. I am not my emotions and I am not my feelings. These are all just temporary visitors. What I do while I'm here is simply acknowledge and place my attention on non-attachment, simple isness, beingness. present state where no label applies <clears throat> no checklist nothing to do nowhere to be I even suspend the roles I play simply resting in this pure loving awareness state. I become aware in this moment that there's never a time that this state of being 
isn't with me and available to me. In those moments when my temporary spacesuit, my body, is vexed with anxiety or stress or anger or fear, I can receive a deep breath and return right back to this oasis of truth beyond the veil of all of the trappings of this temporary life. This is grace. This is loving awareness. And so in this moment, I am awake, I am aware, and I am alert. I am awake, I am aware, I am alert. my way to use in this human life I'm grateful for, but I don't own it. I'm not attached to it and therefore it is not attached to me. I'm simply grateful for it, whether it be relationship, job, car, house, finances. All of it comes to go, it comes to pass. It's all temporary and I'm grateful for what I do have. But I'm also grateful that it does not have me. I am free from it and yet grateful for it. Let's take another deep breath together. 
through the nose about three to four seconds again. Hold for about three to four seconds and then simply let it go. We'll begin at the sound of the singing bowl. Begin. Feels good, doesn't it? To empty out, to let go of all that seems to chatter. <sighs> Today, seek to be like water. Some of you know I'm mildly obsessed with the concept of living as water. Uh, my reason for that is because there's nothing on the planet that does not need water, and yet. Water is the most humble substance and softest element on the planet. And it doesn't seek the high point. In fact, if it's blown to a high point with another element, air or pressure, as soon as it hits the high point, it begins to trickle down to the low point. This is why water is so absolutely irresistible. The ocean stays low and therefore every stream and every other body of water seeks it out. And it, the tides even control much of the ecosystem of this planet. So be humble, be kind, be gentle, and be generous like water, and you will find yourself nurturing the world around you without even trying to. This is the water way, Wu way. Ooh, <laughs> it's beautiful. You're beautiful. You're powerful. You are great. All right, thank you all so much for being with me here today. <clears throat> ah, I cannot tell you how thankful I am. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for all for your love and your care. Um, tomorrow we meet again in the morning. Tomorrow evening we have our midweek connection. Beginning in March, we're gonna start going through a book together. And um, the leadership of this community, One Love Spirit Center, will be sharing each week. So it won't be me every week. You won't have to look at me every single week. We'll be sharing different chapters from this book. Uh, I want to let you know what the book is so that you can go ahead and order it if you want to read along on Wednesday evenings at 7. We're going to be looking at Brene Brown's book, Braving the Wilderness. I love Brene Brown. She's such a wonderful author and teacher. But this book, Braving the Wilderness, was just wonderful to read couple of years back for me and we're going to be going through that book together chapter by chapter each week on our midweek connection so if you don't own that book and you wish to order it you can reach out I'm Amazon I know has it Barnes and Nobles uh, you maybe can even find it on walmart.com you can wherever fine books are sold <laughs> you can find Brene Brown's Braving the Wilderness I'll be putting up an advert tomorrow night of that so that you can see the front cover, be familiar with it, Brene. Brene is spelled B-R-E-N-E, -E, Brene Brown, Braving the Wilderness. So we're going to be going through that book together. Much love to all of you. I appreciate you and your continued prayers. I'm getting better. I'm feeling all right. 
You make it a wonderful day, okay? Go and do that simply because you can. Peace.